When I was planning to build this whiskey room in my house, I wanted to smoke cigars in here too. At the time, we were experiencing some unusually cold weather here in Texas. So smoking a cigar outside on the back deck as I usually did was not so enjoyable. As I thought about it, I realized that it's not so enjoyable when it's 100 degrees out there either. So the challenge was I wanted to smoke cigars in this room without any of the smoke polluting or even being detected anywhere else in the house. And I think for most people that would be a deal killer. So I also had a second goal and that was to remove any lingering smoke odors such that if you walked in this room hours after I had a cigar or the next day you would not smell any residual cigar smoke odor. So in this video I'm going to go through all the design considerations, show you how I install things, show you the components I used, uh, and I'll detail how it's working today and what some of the pros and cons are of the options I chose and maybe some other options. Let me know if you have any questions. There are basically two ways to manage smoke odor. Exhaust as much of the smoke possible as quickly as possible. And then second, cleaning or scrubbing the odor from the air. In addition to that, you'll remove the gases, vapors, chemicals that reside in cigar smoke. And so for purposes of this video, I'm going to lump all of that under one term called ventilation. And I believe the method most likely to succeed is to incorporate both exhaust and air cleaning into your system. There are several important considerations when designing a ventilation system. You can't see the airflow pattern in a room easily. You can feel it to some extent, which is what I did at first. Here's a floor plan view of the room. There are a couple of French doors for access and a southeast facing window. One ceiling vent supplies cooling and heating air and there is a return vent in the transom above the French doors. There is no return ductwork, so the house acts as a return air plenum. This is a fairly common design in this area. So the first step for me was to come up with an air scrubbing device, something to clean the gases, vapors, and odor, particularly the odor from the air. There are several options out there being used in home cigar lounges. I chose one that I had seen in a cigar lounge at a whiskey distillery. Regardless of which one you choose, its main function is to remove solid particles and gases from the air, and obviously the odor. And yes, yeah, smoke is made up of some solid particles, about 10%. Gases and vapors make up the rest of it. And there are over 7,000 different chemicals in cigar smoke, a result of the combustion and the materials in the tobacco leaves. So obviously removing as much of that as possible to create a safe and friendly environment is the goal. I found many air filtering and scrubbing solutions through online searches. Several are commonly used in home air cleaning applications. The one I chose replaced the existing ceiling fan in the room. It's made by Purifan. You can find a lot of good information on their website purifan.com. You can buy a ceiling fan conversion kit if you have an existing ceiling fan or the complete light fan and motor bundle. I chose a complete bundle since I could repurpose the existing ceiling fan in another bedroom. This fan draws air into the center and exhausts it in 360 degrees around the side of the fan. The five-stage filter includes a pre-filter which captures the bigger particles like dust. Next there is an activated carbon filter that filters many of the gases and odors. This is the essential filter media for dealing with smoke according to the EPA. Then there is another filter layer with activated alumina that filters many of the gases and odors that do not react with activated carbon. 
This is followed by a nanoparticle filter that efficiently eliminates any remaining odors. The final stage is another layer of activated carbon. I have found this filter to be very effective in removing cigar smoke odor in this room. Initially, I only used this fan as the cigar smoke odor control method. I found it to be effective in preventing 95% of the smoke odor from leaving the room. Even though this was acceptable, I wanted to do better. So I added a window fan and it solved the problem. As long as both fans were running, I could contain and treat the smoke since that created enough airflow to keep the room pressure negative. But after a few months of experience, I found that there was some smoke residue on the TV and the ceiling in one corner. Although it was not a significant problem, it was clear that I had not met my second goal of removing any residual effect of the cigar smoke. I had done a lot of research prior to starting this project, so I knew how I would address it. I needed more air changes to remove the smoke before it could deposit anywhere. There were a few things I needed to understand first, like how much air do we need to remove cigar smoke? Well, that depends on a few variables, like how much smoke or how many people are going to be smoking at once. You can't just go by the cubic feet per minute of air moved because it's the air changes per hour that count, so room size has to be considered. But regardless of size, I believe that 20 air changes per hour would take care of all of the smoke for one person. The EPA says that if you add another person, you need to double the air changes. And now for the math. What size fan do you need? Well, first you need to know the volume of the room, so you multiply the width by the length by the height. My room is 12 feet 3 inches by 12 feet 5 inches. So that equals 152 square feet. Now you multiply the square feet by the height of the room, which is 9 feet, and you end up with 1,368 cubic feet, which I round up to 1,370. If you are the only person that's going to be smoking in there, you need 20 air changes per hour of exhaust airflow to conceal your cigar smoking from your mom. Visualize that you have to remove and replace that 1,370 cubic feet of air 20 times every hour. So you take the 1,370 times 20 air changes per hour, and that equals 27,400 cubic feet of air per hour. So how many cubic feet per minute is that? You need that number to choose the correct size fan. So divide by 60 minutes and you'll need a fan to move 457 cubic feet per minute. So now you can search for a fan with an airflow rating of at least that. In my case, I wanted 900 cubic feet per minute. This fan will be described by its diameter, typically. As far as fan type, I wanted an inline fan so I could mount the fan in my attic to reduce the noise level. By searching using different parameters, I found several companies that make quiet inline exhaust fans according to their websites. I looked specifically for fans marketed for grow houses or hydroponic greenhouses. I found those to have the best combination of airflow, low noise, and efficient operation. I chose an 8 inch fan from AC Infinity. According to the website, it would move 807 cubic feet per minute and was quiet at 39 decibels. The cost for the fan, a duct fan silencer, and 8 feet of flexible 8 inch ducting was $270. After shipping and a few other parts for installation, it came to $320 for the exhaust system. I chose not to include the optional wireless temperature controller. The unit comes standard with a 10 speed switch, which served my needs. Installation took my son and I about two hours. This involved cutting two 10 inch square holes for both ends of the ductwork, one in the ceiling of the cigar lounge and one in the roof. We cut square holes because they had a better chance of being cut accurately and were easier to add an inside vent cover and outside vent cover than round ones. We used the ceiling register adapter inside and a roof cap on the exhaust end. We tested putting the silencer both on the intake and exhaust side of the fan assembly 
and I chose to have it on the intake side. So the silencer is between the cigar room and the fan motor. Although the decibel readings were the same either way, when I installed it on the inside, it removed a high frequency whine. We added a receptacle in the attic to power the fan and snaked the USB cable down the wall to the television outlet wall box. I mounted the speed controller on the television speaker bar. In the end, it turns out that the performance was a little better than the manufacturer claimed. I measured over 900 cubic feet a minute at the ceiling vent. That's 40 air changes per hour, which is exactly what I wanted. After several months of operation, I can now say that the ventilation system is working very well. It removes, or otherwise cleans, 100% of the cigar smoke odor from the air. When you enter the room, there is no cigar smoke smell, and there is none anywhere else in the house. In fact, the doors to the cigar lounge are directly inside the front entrance to the house, and when you step inside the house, you do not smell cigar odor. In a future video, I'll show you how to visually determine the airflow in your room. Let me know if you have any questions.